So, sorry it's been a couple days, um, but it's time for a risk score update. Um, yeah, as you can see, we've got a lot of changes on the board here. Um, actually, there's been a lot of things that have died and uh, some new ones that have come in. I'm sure I'm missing something on here. Actually, I can remove this one because I think I added it below. Yeah. Anyway, guys, this might be like a working session where you're going to watch me do some of the work on this thing. Um, yeah, and there's some more that I need to add in here, but yeah, just give me a little bit. Um, some of the newer ones that I need to add in might not have made it in, um, but we'll try to get through all the ones that are on the board here just so you guys can see them. So let's get started. First, Multimatic. Um, so while we're going through this, I'm going to actually put in the balances. You're just going to have to bear with me while I go through these. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, balance of that right now is a million one fifty four thirty four. We won't put in cents, um, and I'll format these afterwards. Um, so the balance has actually come down a few hundred thousand in the last few days. Um, so that's that's one thing that's concerning. But they also have their token up and going, which has actually been fantastic. Um, if you bought in right when it launched, um, they were about, um, let me look. I basically got them for like 10, 10 tokens per Matic. And right now they're almost about a dollar, like US dollar wise, a little more. Um, so if you would have gotten in on that token early when they launched, um, you would have almost, you would have like 7 x on that token alone um, if you would have just bought it, held it, and then later sold it. Um, but there's also staking that's getting about 3% right now. But anyway, that's that's not Multimatic. That's the token. Uh, Multimatic itself is 1.15 million. Um, that being said, I think the token's going to do well, but I mean, this part of it is just ROI. Um, and I think, I think what they're going to do is try to get this thing out past the 28 days to get everybody um, past that 28 days. Um, and then I think they're going to, you know, swing around and focus more on the token and building up that um, ecosystem and that investment of staking and making, you know, Two three percent a day on on your returns long term. Um, I think that's the game plan over there. So, you know, I'm not saying that they're just going to totally forget about people in the staking pools because there's still like the lottery going in, which you qualify for airdrops and that contributes to the balance. Um, and they're really helping, you know, hoping people will snooze, will you know, drag out the balance. But I mean, that's also going to like explode as soon as people start actually withdrawing it's going to drag that balance down quick um but I, I think they're more um shifting their focus over to that token and making a long-term staking solution instead of just the straight roi um so i mean that's good news for the token holders um i'm not sh quite sure if that's bad news for people that are in the roi um but that's kind of the, the state of it. I'm gonna say right now, um, we're getting really late into this. Um, I'm gonna move that up to a nine on risk because I mean, honestly, I, I wouldn't touch any of those pools right now, putting in new money into those. Um, the token is amazing, but that's not what we're talking about. The profit is still really high. I mean, if you, if you even if you've been in the helium plans, which are the lowest ones, those are, you know, and you keep snoozing day after day as you watch that balance, um, those are still, you're still cranking away on the, on the money on those two. So, um, sustainability, um, we're going to bring that down because, um, the stake, the ROI portion of this is, yeah, it's, it's just not gonna, it's not going to keep going. The sustainability in this thing is the token and that's not the project we're talking about. Um, yeah, it's been going 19 days. It's past our average. Um, 
I think the goal there, if I would love to see it go past uh, Maddox Staker. So yeah, we've got another week there. So um, that's where Multimatic is. Um, AVAX Staker, um, I haven't even looked at the balance today. Let's have a peek at that one. Uh, 63,000 AVAX, so 63,096. Um, that's been down slightly. Um, it got up to like 64, like I think upper 64,000, somewhere in there. And it's kind of slumped since then. It's gone down slightly and it's been over several days. Um, that gap between the total staked and the contract balance is getting wider and that balance is, is slowly coming down, which means um, new investment isn't able to keep up with the, what's coming out. And because of that, um, that's, that's quite concerning, and especially since we're 13 days in. Um, that means that balance is probably gonna start dropping in the next day or two when those comes unlocked, unless some new investment comes in there. Um, so yeah, that one I'm also gonna bump up to a nine. Um, I, I don't know if I were, I don't know, it's hard to predict, but I would say hopefully it's got another five, six days. I don't know. You know, maybe it might make it to that 21 days because it's got a pretty big balance there, but um, you know, a couple of whales in there or something could, could wipe that, that out pretty quick. AVAX saving, um, let's talk about this one. Um, the guy that runs this, he was pretty upset at me in my last video because he didn't feel like I was very fair. Um, and I just, let me drag this over here so you guys can see this. So this is the site. Um, and the thing that I don't like about this site is there's nowhere here that tells me how much is even staked in this thing. Um, is this thing still active? Does it have a balance? Um, you know, do did it get any traction at all? Um, yes, I can click on the contract and I can see it's got a, a decent balance back here, 4,000 AVAX, 4,500. Um, but on the front end, I don't know, is that 4,500 out of 50,000? Or is that 4,500 out of 6,000 staked? I, I have no idea. There's no visibility here to a normal user about where this project is, um, how old it is. Is there a big gap? You know, if there's a big gap, that might mean two things. It's either that balance is dropping and it's gonna die soon, or it's a really old project and it's been doing well for a long time. But there's nothing here to tell me about this. Um, yes, I love simplicity, but you know, maybe just a couple numbers right here. Um, for instance, staked number, uh, balance number. I mean, it'd be so simple to do. Um, I love the simplicity of things like this, but just a you know a couple numbers here is would go a long way. Um, but also, you know, understand that you know we're 11 days in, and these 10 day guys are you know pulling out now. I'm not sure if they're going to be reinvesting, but we're going to um, put that contract balance in uh, 4532. And then we can track it. So next time we hit this, we know exactly where it was and we can see if that's like going down drastically or going up or whatnot. So, um, yeah, because of its age, you know, we're 11 days in, it doesn't have any information on the front page. Um, who knows that might be good. You know, people are thinking this is new, so they're going to stake more. Um, but when I go in here and I see lots of claim rewards and a few stakes, um, that's 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 a sign to me that people are withdrawing and not as many people are staking. So that's one to watch out for. Um, yeah, we'll even put the sustainability the same as the guys above them, just to keep it even. The thing that's dragging them down is that transparency. Um, you know, if that was up a point, it would bring up the score a couple points. So, uh, Phantom FOMO. 
Um, let's pull that guy up. Phantom FOMO. Right now is sitting at three million six hundred sixty-four thousand one eighty-nine. Sorry, we're not doing decimals. It's it's fine. Um, maybe when we get into B and B, we'll do some decimals because that actually might matter. So, um, the problem with Phantom FOMO is uh, these guys are owned are actually run by you know, some big investors. Um, let me find this here. Go to the last page. And I'm pretty sure the first, uh, the first day or so, there were a lot of big investors into this. Like, um, let me see if I can find some. Yeah, those first ones are 5,000. There's one for 10,000, um, 50,000. Um, so these guys, there's some there's some big ones that are invested into this. There's another 10. And this is all like in the first um, hours. There's tons for 900. Somebody did 900 over and over and over and over again for a full page on the, for a couple pages. And wrapped around that is seven thousand, fit another fifty thousand. So I mean, there are some big deposits in the first hours of this project. Um, so that's one thing to watch out for on Phantom FOMO. Um, it's getting old. Uh, it's you know three days away from hitting those lock periods, and there's a lot of whales in there. So. Um, yeah, some of these that are not as old, I'm going to leave up, and I'm going to bring some of these. Um, I'm going to bring this one down a little bit. And guys, I am going to change how the little bit on the scoring in relation to balance, and also, um, I'm going to I'm going to incorporate a few more numbers around uh, traction and also um, early deposits and how large they are. You know. Kind of a whale factor um, because if you can get in before whales I mean you're kind of golden at that point so um, multi AVAX let me grab that balance yeah the balance there isn't really all that high uh, 6916 yeah, I feel like, you know, not having it on its own domain um, kind of hurts things sometimes. Um, you know, I know the guys over there pretty well over the, the multi-network, um, but I kind of wish they had their own sites on these, on the cross-chain stuff, just so they had some kind of um, separation and so they kind of had their own identity because these two multi AVAX, multi Phantom kind of feel like the afterthoughts and kind of, oh yeah, I'm, I should go check my investment back there too after I check my uh, Matic and my token. So I think they just didn't get the traction they needed. Um, uh, it's, we're still, uh, how far away? We're like five, four, four days away from those being unlocked. Um, we'll go to those in eight on the risk. Um, sustainability, we'll bump that down. I mean, I, I'm not sure, yeah. I don't think there's a way those are gonna really be saved, but I think, um, especially the ones that put in, put in helium will be okay early, but I'm not sure what people are gonna do with those. If they're gonna snooze like they do in Matic, or if they're just gonna take out and go, that'll be interesting to watch. Um, kind of the sister site with that, uh, Phantom. Um, it has a balance of 198,775. Yeah, I mean, kind of the same thing as uh, multi AVAX. I'm probably going to even put it at the same levels because they're kind of doing the same. So, yeah, that's those guys. Phantom World. Um, 
Phantom World itself. I wish they had a little um, icon on their tabs. Uh, let's look at contract. Yeah, it just didn't get the same traction that I thought it would. Um, it's even lower than um, Multi Phantom. It's at 162.34. Yeah, we're seven days into. What was their lockup? Yeah, 30 days. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how long that one lasts. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how long that one lasts with just the unlocked versus locked plans. Um, I am gonna keep withdrawing every day because that's the one I put in on and I'm, I'm curious to see, yeah. I'm pretty sure people in there will be able to get their, um, at least their initial out. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna actually make something on that. Um, it's just that locked 14 or that locked 30 days. That's, that is just a super high risky thing. Um, yeah, that's just one thing I'm concerned with. You know, it's seven days old, I wouldn't put anything into it. You know, it's getting up there in risk. Um, the profit's kind of in the middle. Sustainability is down unless it can like put out some great marketing somehow. Um, Phantom Staker. Let me look that up. Phantom Staker was the carbon copy off of. Um, what is it? Multi Phantom. Multi Phantom had 198,000. This thing's only got uh, 62,152. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It was just a super straight carbon copy. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of, you know, I don't know. It, it was such a carbon copy that it wasn't, there was nothing original about it. The front end was exactly the same, they didn't do anything different. Um, to kind of split them away from what they, I don't even want to say forked off of because they didn't really change enough to call it a fork. It's just a copy. Um, they changed the ghost and a couple icons. Um, so yeah, I'm just not sure what they were thinking on that. Um, but I mean, that balance is so low. You know, I'm going to give that one an eight. I mean, it seems like we're giving it an eight on a lot of these, but um, unless they can, I'm gonna, I forgot, I need to move that up to a seven because it's exactly the same as the other uh, multis. Sustainability, we'll bump it down. Um, the only thing that thing's got going for it is it's got that snooze function. So that's one thing to be aware of. Multi-chain staker AVAX. I had to put it, I had to change that because it was different. But this thing's actually doing pretty well. We're just launching uh, six days ago. Well, I can't believe it's that old. Um, AVAX, it has uh, 17,587, which is pretty darn good for a um, staking dap. I mean, it's not like it's not like AVAX staker, you know, 63,000, but it's pretty decent. Um, uh, it's just getting older. I don't know if I'd put, you know, those, the returns on this thing right now are, you know, if you put in that silver plan, it's a 458% ROI. Um, that, that really puts up the risk because there's a lot of people that put in before you with that thing. Um, so I'm actually gonna move that up to a nine, not a 79. A nine, profit just keeps going up, honestly, because of how these things work. Sustainability, I'm gonna put down to a three. Um, yeah, it's been six days. Let me look at that 14 day unlocked. Yeah, it's not even up to 200% yet. So you can't even double your money in 14 days. 
they have such a wide gap between the savings and the silver so the unlocked versus locked so i mean i wouldn't even put in anything into the unlocked right now you know and get some money back in in seven days so that's not where we're at and there matic meta um let's look at its balance Yeah, this thing just did not, yeah, it just did not get any traction hardly at all. Um, it's sitting at 13,668. Um, yeah, not, not sure what to say about that um, because it doesn't have a lot of traction and it's been, what, seven days and we're, you know, still under 20,000. That's that's quite concerning. I'm gonna move that up to a nine. Sustainability now to a two. Um, yeah. Matic steak. I mean, these guys are just coming up with the, these original names here. So this is a lot like these other, um, you know, original Matic FOMO, and now Matic FOMO two. I should add that to this board because I want to just track that. But let's look at the balance on that. These guys all got a lot of uh, support in these things. Um, its current balance is 1,744,061. Oh, so yeah, that thing, I mean, it's got a decent balance going for a Maddox Staker, um, you know, but we're seven days in. Those unlocked are going to come up. Um, and the, these guys are run by some of the bigger YouTubers, this guy and um, the original Maddox FOMO series. So as soon as those things launch within the first, you know, 12, 24 hours, they get a lot of whales that dump into these things. And... Um, when they start withdrawing, those balance comes down, then everybody just kind of bails. Um, so I'm going to move that up to an eight. Um, yeah, even in seven days, if you put it into the unlock, you're not going to get your initial back. Um, yeah, the only thing it's got over Matic Meta is got the big balance. Um, other than that, it's kind of the, the same thing. I mean, it's maybe a little more sustainable with that balance. Um, but it's also got the balance right on the, on the front of it. So, uh, Matic Vault, uh, let's grab that guy. This is another one that just did not get the traction that it should have. Um, I'm just not sure why these things, well, I mean, honestly, all these ones that are forked off of stable one, I think people are just tired of them. Um, and they also don't have the you know, locked versus unlocked, they're all, it's just one plan and you don't have any choices. Um, you don't have much of a strategy. Um, they all try to provide, you know, daily bonuses and stuff like that. But I mean, like I said, bonuses have to come from somewhere. I mean, they're not just making, they're not like injecting money into this themselves and giving you a bonus. It's got to come from the balance. So, um, Let's see, the balance of that is 53,374 right now. Um, yeah, that one when it first launched, it was a two because it just launched that day. But I think that's all the way up to an eight now. Profit the same, sustainability is lower. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty bad for a four day old dab. Yeah, it's just so hard to predict some of these things. AVAX Steak. All right, let's talk about that one. That one just launched yesterday. Um, but as crazy it is, I mean, it's just over a day old. Um, I'm actually gonna put it at a seven already because earlier today, um, basically a third of the balance is one wallet. Um, a whale put in over a million USD worth of AVAX in that thing. 
um, and put half of it in an unlocked plan and the other half in the 14 day locked. So that thing hit the 14 day mark is gonna plummet like a rock. Um, and then I think a lot of people, because they're seeing that thing plummet, it's all it's gonna come down. Um, it's one of these that just keeps going up and it's, no, oh, yeah. Sustainability because of those whales. Um, if you were in this thing before those whales put in this morning, you are golden. Um, just make sure you can get your money out. Well, let me rephrase that. If you put in the 14 day plan or the unlocked 14 day plan, you're golden. If you put in the 21 or 28 day, it's going to be a rough ride, honestly. Um, because as soon as that guy pulls out in, in 14 days, well, 13 days now, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to watch that thing drop. Um, that thing launched yesterday, so that is March 17th. Um, they actually do have the balance and stuff right on the front. Let's grab the balance off of that. Sorry, I have to change my... Yeah, so let's see, the balance of that is 31,541 and like I said, 12,000 of that, is just over 12,000 of that is one wallet. And not to mention all the ones that were put in the first few hours, like a big YouTuber put in over 6,000, um, sorry, 600. Um, and there's several others were just, you know, just as big or bigger than that. So uh, there's a lot of big wallets in that thing. So let's see. Stick that in there. Uh, I think we're a little bit off. No, I think we're good. No, we're not. We need to do the F twenty. Yeah, then this one must be off. Yeah, they're good now. All right, so that's that one. That's gonna score pretty low because that risk level's already getting up there and it's only, yeah, launched yesterday. Uh, Phantom One USDC, this one launched today. Um, I'm concerned about the audit. I, I'm not sure what it's gonna do. I just released that video. You can you know, see it on, the, I think it was only like an hour ago I posted that video. So with that, um, the risk, I usually put these things low, but because of what happened with the audit, I'm gonna put it at a five. Um, profit is actually pretty low for a DAP, but it's, it's steady. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Sustainability, those things are low, but that dev fee is a little high and you're actually funding the uh, past project a little bit. So I'm gonna put that down at a four. It launched today. Uh, let's see. I'll put the 18th. I think it won't calculate it because it'll figure out it's going to think it's zero. Well, it might think it's one. Yeah. Um, transparent. They removed the balance from the page. I don't know why they did that. I, it just boggles my mind that they'd removed that even though it was on the original DAP. Um, but they took that off of there. I have no idea why. Um, so let me look at the actual contract. It's got 36,960 in it. And that's USDC. So we just need to update where that is. And we got a 28 for that. Avax FOMO, I didn't re I didn't put on the one that's kind of a one that's got some serious problems. The one that's got the force withdraw. 
because that one's got serious problems where the owner can basically just make 10% off of you know investment after investment so I did not even include that um, but let me look at the other one the one that's actually real <laughs> That's not the account I want. Let me grab the one that I do want. All right, contract balance of this one launched about 24 hours ago is 4,524. Yes, since yesterday, which is great. Um, risk right now, I'm gonna put it um, slightly lower. They haven't had huge um, investments come in but it's actually doing pretty well for a, a new launch um, profit it's gonna be one of those gonna go up there um, similar to those other ones that just move up all the time sustainability um, right now I'll just put it middle of the line we don't know what's gonna happen with it you know it might gain more traction uh, who knows what it's gonna do um, it was born yesterday and I was going to give it a two, which really just over 24 hours. Um, transparent, they've got the balance right there on the front. Um, yeah, their balance is actually more visible than the staked, which is great. All right, so with that. We will figure out why it's got a division by zero problem. I'm gonna guess this is an absolute one. Oh, that is why it's thinking of this one on line 17. It's supposed to be 16. I'm concerned about this one. Yep. That one needs to be brought back up. And we're good. Make sure we didn't corrupt any of these other ones. No, we're good. All right. So that one so far is our leader in the scoring. Uh, Multi-chain sticker BNB. Um, I'm usually not a huge fan of uh, uh, Binance Smart Chain dApps, but they've done a very good job with this one. Just kind of you know, sticking it under the same, making it like these AVAX stakers and the Matic stakers, um, instead of making it kind of the cheap looking um, finance smart chain ones you can get. But the ROIs are just, for a first launch, for a first day launch, is they're just super high. Uh, for instance, that 14, 14 day locked one, um, this thing hasn't even been out 24 hours. It's like 14 hours now. Is it 315% if you jump on that 14 day lock? So that is a, that is quite incredible. And for uh, BNB, um, they have 3,506 BNB. That is that is a one. That's a great start to that DAP. Um, it's quite impressive, um, considering you no know, BNB price right now is just about four hundred USD. Um, yeah, what does that work out to be? Let me see if it's yeah, just over a million staked in fourteen hours. That's really really good. Um, right now, I'm going to put the risk at three. Profit's actually really high. I mean, it's it's getting up there already. Sustainability. Um, it's not even a day old yet. I'm gonna put it at a four, and then it launched today. Um, they have the balance right up front. They've got all the information on the page. And yeah, if I copy this, it might not even, yeah, I'll give it a one, that's fine. Move our score down change our value so it knows which one to look at. 
Oh, that's gonna be. That's a 43. So yeah, guys. I mean, this is kind of my favorite one right now. I mean, these. But my favorite one changes almost every day because, um, you know, you want to be in on the first day of these. Um, so I think what I'll do is on these ones, I'll, I will leave the link to the highest three scores. I'll leave those in the um, comments below, or I mean the description below. And yeah, it's basically the ones that are, you know, t just about 24 hours old or younger. That's, those are the ones that'll be up here. Um, but I'll put those in the description in order of, of score, you know, top being the highest score one. So let's talk about the garbage heap. Um, we, we did, we've had a lot of deaths. I mean, man, it is the, there's a funeral every few hours. Um, and mainly because these dang fury daps, uh, these things, um, you're going to see a trend on these things. Um, you know, Matic fury lasted seven days. Phantom fury lasted seven days. Tron fury seven. Shiba seven. I put the 19th because it's going to die in the next three or four hours and it'll be the 19th before it dies. It's still alive, but it doesn't have much left in it. Um, but yeah, all these fury daps, I mean, an exception of like being B, it did pretty well. All can all things considered, but that magic number of seven, I mean, it suffered BUSD didn't quite make seven. It almost did. Um, if you notice though, the shortest time frame you could pick on that, that slider was seven days and these all died around seven days. So that's, that seems to be the magic number with these things. Um, uh, another one that people talked about are, is Polystaker. It died, it lasted 12 days. Um, if you jumped in the first day and withdrew, um, you were able, like I put in a little bit, I think I only put in like, I think 50 Matic into it. And I think I got like 50.9. So I almost got, you know, 2% out of that. Um, so it wasn't a total loss, but if you were in day two or three, you probably didn't get anything out of it. Um, that's a that's a really good one to show that you know getting in key in early is very key. Um, sometimes you might just get um, your initial out, and that's the way some of these work. Um, B and B uh, hotel is just I don't know. There's there's replicas of out out of out now on that one, and I'm not a fan of them, but. Um, with that, the, um, the key there is like, when you look at these things, look at all the bonuses, you know, quote unquote bonuses they give you, you know, they give you a bonus for holding. They give a bonus for, um, so many users on the platform. They give a bonus for, it's like, these aren't bonuses. They're not free money. They come from the contract that you deposited into it. So just be aware of that guys, that this these things that just give out all these bonuses and then take, you know, a 16% contract fee and then give away a 15% referral bonus, you know, on a, on a stack of referrals. Um, when that happens, it, it really just drains the contract really, really fast. And that's why things like this last three days. Um, it wasn't necessarily drained by the owner, but it was all up front when they published it about where all the stuff would go. But a lot of people saw bonuses, they saw return, and thought this is what they're going to get out of it. Um, but you have to be very careful about these things. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think of some of the other ones. Uh, we've talked about Stable 1 before. They launched a V3, which is kind of crazy because uh, V3 was, it, it launched and then they had some weird, they upped the... Um, percentage that you get the ROI number and they lower the number of days um, yeah I don't know just launching ROI DAP or after ROI DAP you're gonna get less and less traction after each one because you know more and more people are gonna be left holding the bag after all of these so I don't know why they think that that's like something that they should keep doing I don't, I'm not sure I don't know why that's uh, yeah I, I just don't get it because after every DAP, there's gonna be people holding the bag and saying, hey, you know, why is the balance zero? Hey, where's my money? Um, so that 
eventually you just got to be like, you know what, we're moving on to our token. You know, we've got our our S Rocket token. We've got our NFTs. Um, the problem is they built their NFTs to tie it into an ROI DAP, which is not sustainable. So that makes the NFT not sustainable if the only way to feed it is through an ROI DAP. Um, yeah, yeah, Daily Matic, it just didn't have um, that that um, traction it needed. Yeah, these all just died. But I mean, guys, that those uh, the Fury apps, they kind of brought down the average. But I mean, this is kind of the average of all those dApps that have been out. You know, we've got ones that lasted a while, like, you know, State 1 V1, because you couldn't withdraw because they locked it down. Um, you know, we had Matic Staker at 26 days. We got these shorter term ones. This is kind of a good cross section of all the things that have been put out um, over the last month and a half. And with that, you get an average lifespan of 14 days. I mean, that's that's pretty short, guys. So if you if you throw into one of these, you know, if it's got a lock plan of 14 days, and that's kind of the sh the shortest expected to last exactly 14 days. Um, if you're if you're on day one, you're probably really good. But if you're on day like six or seven, um, just think about it. Um, and that's why I try to like really bring these out as fast as I can. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll go to sleep, wake up, and one's been out since you know for five or six hours. Or I go out with the family and do something, come back, and this thing's launched. And you know, it, it's crazy that some of these guys don't put timers up and don't kind of plan a launch. They just get the audit, throw it up there, and be like, "Okay, we're live." Um, I think it really hurts their. Um, it really hurts their uh, marketing to just throw something up there um, without having kind of a launch plan. And um, they also don't do a lot of testing around them when they do that too. So yeah, guys, that's kind of the, that's the risk scores right now. I'm sure I missed a few. I've got to add a few more that I, I haven't even really reviewed on the channel, um, but I'm sure I'm missing a few, but I'll add those in. Um, I'll format this a bit better, um, and like I said, I'm, I'm working on a website, and um, I'm thinking of either a Telegram or a Discord group. Um, I'm not sure yet how, what direction I want to go with that. Um, I do have a day job that I work, and a family and stuff, so, you know, I can't spend too much time like, hanging out on channels too much, but... Anyway, guys, um, yeah, those are the scores. Tell me what you guys think about these. Um, yeah, it really is, you know, those day one things that are kind of hot now. Um, but as soon as they move into, you know, two, three, four, day six, seven, they they get pretty risky. I mean, it's just look at that average lifespan. Anyway, guys, sorry this is a long one. Yeah, it's almost 45 minutes. Um, yeah, anyway, again, this isn't financial advice. I'm not telling you what you should do. I'm not saying what you should invest in. Um, I'm just trying to provide information, kind of my viewpoint of these things. Um, but you can take that information and do what, what you will with that. Um, yeah, make your own decisions on your, on your investments and your finances. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to educate, provide information and give you guys the best tools you can to make those decisions instead of just, you know, shilling projects and uh, misleading people. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, again, tell me what you think in the comments below. And um, if you like the video, like it. If you want to subscribe, hit the red button. Um, you're on YouTube, you probably know what to do. Um, anyway, and we'll catch you on the next one.